Alrighty, so today I'm going to show you how to upload a photo or video into a media album using Schoology. Now I'm going to show you first using the desktop version, which most of you may have, and then I'm going to show you how to do it using the mobile app. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to find the little media album that your teacher posted. This is an example course that I'm enrolled in right now. So click on the media album, and you're going to notice there might be some pictures or there may not be any pictures. Then you're going to notice on the right hand side a button that says add media once you click add media it'll ask you to attach a file now there is a file limit but most of the time when you save a picture from online or something you can usually it's usually under that limit click attach files once you click attach files you're going to find all these different places on your computer now if i were you anytime you need to save a photo or anything like that Try to save it to your desktop. Desktop will be the easiest place to find um, where you save a photo. So if you're in like Google Images or something, you can always use the right click button and click Save Image. And usually I'll tell you to try to save it on your desktop. In this case, I'm gonna use this picture as an example. So let's say I wanna choose this picture. After that, all I'm gonna do is click Open. Notice it took a little bit of time to upload, but it finally uploaded. Then I'm gonna click, once I'm done, on Add Media. It says you successfully added one file. You can see them below and add captions. So if I scroll to the bottom, this was the picture that I posted. It was a random little picture. It'll say the name of the album added by, ask for a caption, and it'll say what your picture originally was. Over here, you can crop the picture if it's not the right size. You can rotate the picture if it's not the correct orientation. Or if you mess up, you can always go back and delete it. Now, a caption gives you a little bit more description of what the photo is. So you can say, this is my homework example of a triangle. Okay, this is a random or something that describes your picture. Underneath here, it says write a comment. Now, over here, you can comment on other people's pictures also. You can even add comments on your own. So, for example, if I go back to my media album, I can share comments on other people's pictures. Okay, so for example, if I wanted to, I could add a comment on this rubric and say, hey, awesome photo. I like how you use the rubric. But you can add and post comments on other people's, just depending on what your teacher's expectation is. So that's how you do it using the desktop version. Now, while using the mobile app, it's just a little bit different, also depending if you have an iOS or Android. So First thing you do is open your app and you're going to look for the media album that your teachers posted on Schoology. So for example, I'm going to click on the Artifacts Media Album. On the top right corner, I have the plus sign. Once I click on that, I can click on either Choose from Library or Apps. I'm going to choose from a library that I've already taken a picture of. And that's what I'd suggest you to do also. So I'm going to click a random picture. And notice on the bottom it says Selected One. Click the check mark at the top. And now notice it has your one picture there. Make sure you type in a caption. That is so important when you upload it from a mobile device. Make sure you put a caption in there. You can put your name or whatever. Then click the check mark at the very top. Once it uploads, your picture's there. 